Hey guys, what's good? Hope y'all are doing well. Sorry for the uh, weird lighting, but uh, the nice people at UPS just came by, dropped off a package, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing because I really want to check out this watch, and I thought it'd be cool if y'all could uh, do it with me. So I don't have natural lighting. Um, it's dark outside, so we're inside. This is kind of the best lighting I could find, but let's see what's in the uh, let's see what's in this box, and it's from Hamilton, huh? That's weird. Uh, uh, unboxing from Hamilton and I bought this watch from an authorized dealer actually so let's see which Hamilton I'm so excited to get um, you know I love Hamilton you know it's a classic American brand or at least it was before it was bought up by the uh, I think it's by the Swatch Group and so it comes just in a basic box like this and um, this basic wood box and without any further ado this is the first time I'm ever seeing the watch um, so let's look at it together I'm gonna open it like that and Wow, man, look at that. Oh, yeah. This is the, uh, and I've wanted this watch for so long. Um, this is the Hamilton Ventura. So it's a watch that they made in the 1950s. Um, I think this one has the, and this is all in plastic, actually. So I'm going to open the plastic. So... Take it out. Like this is brand new from authorized dealer. Something I rarely do, but you know these watches don't really go on sale very often. This Ventura, it's a um, you know it's a quartz watch, nice cool watch. You can see it's got a, um, a formed case, but yeah, they really don't go on sale a lot. So they usually are at about eight hundred dollars, and sometimes you can find them on eBay for around five fifty. Um, I got this one on Amazon for $6.75 from an authorized dealer, so it comes with the uh, the warranty card and stuff. But yeah, let's just take this off and just kind of look at it. So there you see it. Um, you know, a lot of people think of this as like the Men in Black watch. Uh, I think this watch was featured in uh, those movies. Kind of makes sense, kind of like a futuristic watch. I, I'm not a big Men in Black fan, I guess. You can see the, uh, the little car. Uh, hang tag right there it's cool when you get stuff from an authorized dealer because you get like all the little fun stuff and like I said I I usually don't get my stuff from an authorized dealer but but okay so getting back to that story so usually they're not on sale um, and so they're usually like around I think eight hundred dollars and that's about what they run from any authorized dealer but I don't know if it was a prime day deal or not I found this from an authorized dealer on Amazon for six hundred seventy five dollars now used um they don't come up that that often and um they don't come up that that often and they usually like around 500 maybe 550 so for me the extra 200 225 250 dollars was worth it to just get it from an authorized dealer with the warranty because I know for this kind of watch it's going to be a keeper for me it's something I've wanted for a long time um, but yeah it was kind of it has been known as the men in black watch I think like I said I'm not a I'm not a men in black fan so I don't know much about that never seen any of those movies but before that um, it was a big watch in the 1950s Elvis himself famously loved this watch and it was just a really big deal back then um, and there you can see it it's a it's a stainless steel case all polished it's quartz they make these in a lot of different versions too there's like a um, there's some automatic versions and there's some different kind of um, you know different kind of case shapes some are larger some are smaller there's there's, there's even gold ones there's a special edition limited edition 150 all gold, 14 karat gold, to commemorate the whatever the 70th or 80th anniversary of the uh, of the Ventura. But man, I've always wanted this watch. It looks so cool. Um, let me try it on my wrist real quick, or at least show you. I think I'm going to change the strap out. Just got this old thing on the wrist. So this is a watch from a really cool brand. Props, if you can guess what this watch is without me telling you. I'm going to make a video about it real soon. But yeah, here's the Ventura. So like I said, they come in a lot of different versions. There's a men version, there's a men's version, there's a women's version. And, and Hamilton's kind of weird. There's a lot of different um, codes and stuff. So this is just the standard men's version. It's 32 millimeters in diameter. I don't know what the lug to lug is, but you can just kind of see what it looks like on my wrist. Man, that is just so cool. It's a simple quartz movement. I know I'm gonna change out this strap. I don't think it's actually lizard. I think it's like leather embossed with a lizard pattern and it comes with a, um, 
comes with like a, 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 a deployant buckle. So yeah, just a quick unboxing. Uh, I'm excited to, to finish this video and put a strap on here and really enjoy this watch and wear it. But I thought it would be cool for y'all to see something I'm really excited about. This is the uh, Hamilton Ventura. This is the men's version. And this, for your reference, is the H2441732. So that's a standard men's version. Like I said, there's a women's version. There's a bunch of automatic versions. So make sure you get your versions right on this watch. Um, okay, guys. Hope y'all are doing well. Take care. God bless. Look forward to making some more content for you real soon about this watch and also this Art Deco watch. Really a cool brand right here. Anyway, guys. Take care. God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye.